Today we're going to look at an infectious disease response robot, one of the Ministry of Science and ICT and NIPA supported projects that are making life better in a contactless era. With new technologies in this fourth industrial revolution, the non-contact and non-face-to-face -face digital economy has been growing exponentially. And because of the COVID-19 pandemic, new technologies have to be developed to keep Korea competitive. One of the projects aims to develop a transport service for quarantine facilities using an AI-based autonomous robot. In the era of COVID-19, there has been a growing need to prevent the spread of infectious diseases through human contact and to prevent secondary infections of medical personnel in quarantine facilities where infected patients are hospitalized. Thus, one company has carried out a project to develop AI autonomous driving technology through an algorithm of regional congestion measurement and map attribute update based on accumulated movement information. Specifically, they produced a prototype of an AI-based autonomous driving robot for the delivery of linen and injectable drugs such as narcotics and anti-cancer drugs managed by medical institutions. In addition, they installed a finger vein authentication system so that autonomous robots can safely deliver and receive goods, enhancing security and safety. They have also developed a monitoring system that can prevent and manage infection and contamination. As a global leader in overcoming the pandemic, Korea has been creating non-face-to-face -face services in fields such as medicine to help make the world a better and safer place to live. By utilizing Korea's advanced robot technology in these contactless times, medical institutions will be able to increase the trust of the public and patients by effectively responding to infectious disease needs. As a clean medical institution can prevent the spread of infectious diseases in medical institutions, this autonomous driving robot is expected to greatly contribute to preventing the loss of medical personnel nationwide due to secondary infections.